Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Killer Gen coming back at you with video number two. I guess I'm gonna show you what's popping. I'm gonna move this out of my way real quick with um <laughs> controlling lights, um with IDs. Uh, let me see here. So the continuation from video one. You definitely want to see video one before you see video two. Um, now we're gonna actually control light with ID number two. With something it's as simple as this. This is like I don't know a switch. I guess I'll call it switch and I guess I'll turn on lights with the command number two and remember IDs actually only um, coexist or exist with each map in mind so if, if if I make these two lights number two right here and then inside I make a different lights number two they're separated each map is independent of every other map. So now, because I'm going to, um, let me see. Actually, I don't want to do that. You know what? I'm going to move this to the inside. I'm going to make a button, I guess. Um, let me see. Light number two on. Walking other, let me see where the button's at. Switch, okay, switches are cool. Oh, I'm gonna have to do some some crazy stuff with the switch. You know what, I don't know, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. So, I'm also gonna have to do a cell switch like last time. Cell switch on, copy paste, on. I'm gonna turn this off. Light two off. So I have to make some lights with light two. I'm just gonna press the button. It actually don't matter. Um, so now I'm actually gonna what? I don't know. Put lights on the ceiling. Wait. Make sure this is same as character. Yep. Very nice. So I'm gonna put lights in the sky. I'm gonna put them as number two so they actually turn on with two uh, and I'll put light and I'm going to hmm let me go to f let me see where I don't know chandeliers uh I guess the default RTP isn't fantastic when it comes to like what I can show let me see do they have an off I actually do right here off Hmm. What happened? I feel like. Yeah, okay. Apparently, they do this all over again. Well, when you click on this, boom, boom, light two on. Sorry, it's light on two. Cell switch on. Copy paste on off light off two and then I'm gonna turn this on make it look nice. This one don't need stepping because it's not doing anything. But I think that's good. I think this switch will allow me to turn the lights on and off. We'll see. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? I don't think these lights should be as large. So I'm going to delete this real quick. Change it to like 100, 120, I guess. That seems fine. Boom. Flaca. Good. Let's see. Let's see if this works. So, as we can see, what we created last time wonderful go inside here turn on the light <laughs> and nothing ah oh, it never works in your first try ah, let's see I'm saying light to on in that same as character okay on light to off oh 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 my goodness <sighs> I typed it backwards Sorry about that. 
now. Let's see. It never works the first try. <laughs> and that's okay. That's part of game programming. You're never going to do it right the first time. Just double check and you'll be okay. Boom. Beautiful. Yeah. So, I guess the lesson from this is that IDs are always off by default, but you can turn them on. Actually, with this, you don't. When you're actually calling an event from itself, you actually don't need to call its own ID. That's a Terax thing. I forgot about that. Now, with this on, it doesn't matter what your ID is. It just knows its own ID, so it doesn't need to actually reference its own ID. So that's actually very important. Again, when it comes to the Yanfly and the spawn events and the copy events, that's very important. But for now, the button wants to call these lights on, so it actually has to call their ID because it's not calling its own ID because it doesn't have a light. But it does control the second light, so therefore it does control these. But again, they have their own thing. Actually, you can't even... Huh, you can't, actually you can't even access these things, so I don't even think you need that. Sorry, I always record these things, just spur of the moment, I don't even plan. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oh, oh, yep, gorgeous, gorgeous. So the, so this controls the switch which obviously we can animate, but I'm not gonna animate it right now. Controls the lights in the house. It actually just called the on and off of ID number two, and the on or off of ID number two. It just this, so it looks nice, or it doesn't. And the ID is two, so it turns it on. Now, if you want to bring it to the next level, is a couple things you can do. One, use a spawn and copy event, put them in here, so you actually only have to copy and you know, you actually have to create each event just one time and copy it. Like, for example, if you created this event and put it on the template, you only have to make it one time. And you can copy it here and here, and, and here and here. And if you put the template of the light of on the inside of the house, you can put it here, uh, also on the template and copy it here and here. Believe me, when you're making a game with hundreds and hundreds of maps, this is a godsend. Copy and spawn event with Nova Lighting is incredibly powerful. And then again, actually the, the third most important one for me, I would highly recommend, would be the self switches, self variables and self switches of Yanfly as well. With that, there's almost nothing you can't create. <laughs> so I highly recommend that. I actually don't put that in the right up but maybe I should because it's so important um, so it's important to understand IDs and how they work IDs lights with IDs work differently than lights without IDs light without IDs use a negative one to denote that they don't have an ID but you still need to put that ID that non ID in just so that you can do the um, intensity again I would actually like to point out that if you want the Terex lighting it's this simple just as good as Terex lighting. Actually, it's way better than Terex lighting because it's way more efficient. The your frame rates will be better. This is much more efficiently coded than Terex. So, if you want the Terex lighting, oh, the reason why it looks so dull again. But with Terex, you you don't want to actually manipulate light intensity. I actually manipulate light intensity here. Don't manipulate light intensity for Terex. So boom, boom. I don't want to manipulate light intensity with Terex because it's it's so simple. So I want to do this. I wouldn't have to do this so much again if I created the templates, but we're not doing that. I guess that will be in video three. But with Terex. Don't manipulate light intensity, and it definitely should look nicer. But 
I'm going to put it back to Nova. Terrax obviously being off. With the third video, with the third video, I'll show you what you can do with the um, with the auto run and the um, common events, so you can use them. You definitely want to use them. Uh, again, just to show you a hint of what I'm going to show you in the third one. Is obviously using a common event that would use this snippet right here which basically takes every event that you have on your map your current map and causing the cell switch D to be turned on when this happens this is actually gonna tell each light listen your cell switch is on you're gonna actually correct your lighting status this is important when you have two flavors of lights because sometimes you want to you want it to remember what you did last so you as you can see as you manipulate with this and understand this in, in a much deeper way that this script is absolutely necessary again this will be for the third video the script right what the hell is the script <laughs> right uh, right oh right here you want to put this as a common event so everyone can call it right here just put it as a um, script type this in it'll, it'll actually make sure every um, every time you go to a new map you want your auto run to actually run this script right here you're gonna put it in here in here you're gonna say common event run it and also with what I include with what comes with MB Nova lighting is the Izzy uh, event on load I didn't write that all the credits to Izzy you want to read his um, terms of use use it appropriately give him credit great plugin um, you have that also call on load to make sure that your lights are uh, corrected because what happens is for every light you want to make sure that there's an auto run on the last page that tells it hey listen depending on you know your self switch status you need to be on or off and it's more important to something like this because when the self switch is on you want your light to be on when the self switch a is off well, off well it'll be off now you want it to be off so do, it, you actually create a third one so you would do new event you would set it you would set this to D and at the end of this then you would tell its event obviously on the auto run to turn its own self which D off so that obviously it turns off this obviously would be on and this would be um, here you would turn this to auto run again if, if this is complicated to understand I will cover all of this in the third video, but for now, we'll leave it as such. Right here, you would tell it to uh, turn on if the auto switch is on and off if the auto switch is off. And therefore, every event will auto correct itself. And this is actually very important. So, until then, until uh, next time, I'll see you in the next video. We'll show you actually the more uh, advanced techniques when it comes to creating advanced lighting mechanics in your game. Peace out.